audience yeah. will be that special thing that brings it all together. There's no way you can really prepare for what their reaction is going to, going to be. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking, and at the same time. Um, Really, it's, it's a lot of fun because I get to explore and try different things. People laughed before lines were said. Mm -hmm. So people are so in tune to what's coming that, again, if, if you just commit to it and play it, it's not, I, it's not reinventing the wheel right. in a way because right. it is, you know, but as, as Carol Ann said, bringing yourself to it is, that's what live theater is all about. Yeah. So. But it's there. It's just, it's in there. Everybody who knows those skits is going to have a great time. It's a hoot. We have a lot of fun in the room, uh, but audiences just eat this up. Uh, you don't have to be a Monty Python fan necessarily to really enjoy the comedy because it's constructed really, really well. But I'm always compelled to direct really good comedy, and figuring out the timing in the room can be painstaking, but uh, really rewarding. It feels free. Like I, I feel like I can do try anything and and see what happens. And she's she's a very big character. And and like Melissa said in the room the other day, like you cannot be big enough, right? You can go 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 far with her. Um, and I think that's really that's really cool because you don't get that opportunity with every character you play. So for me, I think that's. that's Wait till you fun. hear her sing. It's <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, yeah. extraordinary. It's the very first scene, the swallow scene, the, 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 the guys in the tower, and, and it's King Arthur's first entrance. I mean, it's beautifully constructed, and it, it talks about class, and, and it talks about the fact that the play doesn't allow King Arthur to be the king, <laughs> and it sets up the entire show for us. Maybe the French castle scene, yeah. which we haven't even it's staged yet, yeah. but uh, it's, I think, I think mostly because all my nights are together. I fart in your general mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of all the Python stuff, uh, it's a great musical as well, and uh, you know uh, Jessica Eisenberg is doing an amazing mm. job choreographing, and so you're going to see like true Broadway dance and song and dance on top of you know this crazy shenanigans. Join us August 31st through October 2nd for Spamalot.